contestants, here we go with four in a row. It's your solo round. It's just our contestants against the clock. Daphne, you got into this round first, so the first decision on picking categories is going to be yours. Here are the categories, hats and headwear, the 19th century, money and finance, and the animal kingdom. Daphne, what will it be? Well, I suppose I ought to have money and finance, soon as I work in a bank, but, but I'm going to have 19th century, please. All right. Daphne, will you come and join me here, please, for your solo round? By now, you know the rules of four in a row. You know that it's a, you against the clock, all right, and that, that we're going to put 40 seconds on the clock for you in a moment. Are you ready, however, Daphne, now to play four in a row? Yes. OK, we'll put 40 seconds on the clock for you now. There it is, Daphne. You'll have those 40 seconds to answer correctly four in a row on your subject, which is the 19th century. Daphne, your time starts now. Which city staged the 1851 Great Exhibition? London. Correct. The 1860 conquest by Garibaldi led to the unification of which country? Italy. Correct. Who became Russia's last czar in 1895? Nicholas II. Correct. What name is generally given to the civil code enacted in France in 1804 and still largely... The Napoleonic Code. The Napoleonic Code. The Napoleon Code. That's correct. After you score four in a row. Well done. Well played indeed. Pete, select a category, please. Don't like any of them, but I'll try the Animal Kingdom. The Animal Kingdom, Pete, will you come and join me here, please, for your solo round? Just you against the clock. Are you ready to play four in a row, Pete? Ready as I'll ever be. Ready as you'll ever be. We're going to put that 40 seconds on the clock for you now. You'll have that 40 seconds, as you know, to answer correctly four in a row or be credited with your highest score. Pete, on the Animal Kingdom, your time starts now. To which animal family does the lynx belong? Cats. Correct. What's the world's largest bird? Ostrich. Correct. What major branch of biology deals with the animal kingdom? Zoology. Correct. The flanks, the coronets and the withers are all parts of which domesticated animal? Uh, a horse. Is the correct answer. <laughs> well done. Four questions, four correct answers. Oh, my goodness. You can see what this competition is like. Right, Richard, that leaves you with hats and headwear or money and finance. What category would you like, Richard? It's going to have to be hats and headwear. It's going to have to be hats and headwear. All right, come and join me, please, for your solo uh, round against the clock. Now, if you look at the scores, you'll see that Pete and Daphne already have scored four in a row. Richard, you need four to go into a tiebreaker with them because we can only have two to go into the final. Richard, are you ready to play four in a row? Yes. Right, you're ready. On hats and headwear, we'll put 40 seconds on the clock for Richard now. You'll have all that 40 seconds to get to those four in a row. Don't worry, if you don't get it today, you have another chance tomorrow. Ready, Richard? Yes. Your time starts now. Grotesque masks are often worn on which annual festival on October the 31st? Halloween. Correct. Which red felt hat with a long tassel was abandoned as part of the Turkish national dress in 1925? Fez. Correct. Which item of headwear is the title of a 1935 Astaire Rogers musical? Top hat. Correct. St. Edward's crown is kept with the British crown jewels in which London tourist attraction? Uh, Tower of London. Is the correct answer. You've scored four in a row, too. Oh, my goodness. Nobody is letting go. Nobody is letting go. That means that with Daphne, Pete and Richard all scoring four in a row, clear the scores, please, because we have to play a tiebreaker round. I have the tiebreaker questions. I am going to ask you a series of questions. You'll get one point for each correct answer. The first two of you to score two. It's a hands in the buzzers round. You remember, the first two to get two go into that final against each other. Hands in the buzzers. What's my name? I'm an ancient medical technique devised by the Chinese relief. <laughs> Pete. Acupuncture. Is the correct answer for one point. Right, Pete, you're off the mark. Hands in the buzzers again. What is my name? I'm a plant that grows best in well-drained, sandy loam and temperate climates. I... Richard. Cactus. Is not the correct answer. Pete and Daphne, you have the rest of the question. I'm cultivated both for my fibre, from which linen, yarn and fabric are made. Pete. Flax. Is the correct answer. You've scored the two. Well done. Stay where you are, but you're in that final. Daphne and Richard, it's up to you now. Hands in the buzzers. The first one of you to two will meet Pete in the final. What am I? I was the leading missile weapon of the Middle Ages. I consist of a short... Daphne. Catapult. Is not the correct answer. Richard, you have the rest of the question. Answer when you're ready. I consist of a short bow fixed transversely in a stock originally made of wood. I fire a missile usually called a bolt. Some versions of me had a hand crank to draw back the string and had a range of up to 300 metres. My name begins with C. Richard, what am I? Crossbow. Is the correct answer. You get one point. Right, so you are off the mark. Hands on the buzzers again. What is my name? I am the largest member of the deer family. In North America... <coughs> Richard. Moose. Is not the correct answer. Daphne. Do you know, or do you want me to read the rest of the question? Please read read the rest of the question. In North America, I'm called a moose. I'm a heavy, long-legged, short-necked ruminant. Males of my species are known as bulls and have enormous antlers. My three-letter name begins with E. What am I, Daphne? An elk. An elk is the correct answer. Gives you the one. 
Gives you one. You're now tied with Richard. Whichever one of the two of you gives me a correct answer joins Pete in the final. Who am I? I am a singer and songwriter born in 1926. In the 1950s, I led a blues trio that played in the black nightclubs of St. Louis. Later, I travelled to Chicago, where my first record became an immediate success. By the time of my conviction and prison sentence... And I... Richard. Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry is the correct answer. Takes you to two. And you're in today's final with Pete. Well done, Richard. Daphne says well done indeed. Daphne Hudson from England, don't worry because of course you'll have another chance tomorrow on Going for Gold. But now I'm going to ask Pete and Richard, England versus Scotland, to come and join me in today's final on Going for Gold. Come on, guys. Right. So here we are at today's final, and of course because this is our first set of semi-finals, our first semi-finals week, the winner today will be through to the final of Going for Gold next year. And what a battle it is. It's between England and Scotland. Pete Bowman from England and Richard Leslie from Scotland. Gentlemen, you know the rules. Pete, you got into this round first, so the first decision is going to be yours. The first subject is organisations. There's a clue on the screen for you watching at home. On organisations, Pete, will you play or will you pass? Play. You will play on organisations, which means that you have control of the game in that big four zone. Remember, you need nine points to win the game, and your time starts now. I'm an international organisation founded in 1971 in British Columbia to oppose US nuclear testing at Amchitka Island in Alaska. Our primary tactic is direct... <coughs> Pete. The uh, Chris Island Veterans Society. No, that is not the correct answer. Richard, that means that you have control of the game and your time continues now. Our primary tactic is direct, non-violent actions. We are dedicated to preserving endangered species of animals and preventing environmental abuse. In 1985, our, our ship Rainbow... Pete. Greenpeace. Greenpeace is the correct answer. Answered in the two zone. Just a bit of hesitation there for you, Richard. Never mind. Pete Bowman from England with two points is in the lead. And Richard Leslie from Scotland, you are playing catch-up. The subject is devices. There's a clue on the screen for you watching at home. On devices, will you play or pass, Richard? I'll play. You will play on devices and your time starts now. I am any electromagnetic radiation of an extremely short wavelength produced by the deceleration, Richard. Radio. Is not the correct answer, Pete. You have control of the game and time continues now. The deceleration of charged particles or the transition of electrons into atoms. I was discovered by Willem Conrad Röntgen in 1895. Pete. X-ray. X-ray is the correct answer. Well answered. In the three zone. Takes you up to five. That means, Richard, you're playing catch-up again. The subject is actresses. There's a clue for you watching at home. On actresses with five to catch up on. Will you play or pass? I'll pass. You will pass actresses over to Pete Bowman from England. Remember, you need nine points to win this game and go through to our final next year. And your time on actresses starts now. I was born in New York City in 1918, the daughter of a Spanish-born dancer and his partner. By the age of 12, I was a professional dancer in a nightclub act. Pete. Ginger Rogers? Is not the correct answer. It means that you have control of the game, Richard, and your time, when I get my breath back, continues now. By the age of 12, I was a professional dancer in a nightclub act and appeared as Spanish dancer Rita Cancino in several films beginning in 1935. I then changed my name and died. <laughs> Richard. Rita Hayward. Rita Hayward is the correct answer. In the three zone, it takes you up to three, but it still means that against Pete's five, you're playing catch-up. The subject, let me see, is international affairs. There's a clue for you watching at home. It's on your screen now. On international affairs, Richard, play or pass? Play. You're going to play in international affairs, said confidently. On that subject, your time starts now. I am an international organisation established by charter in 1945 following the Yalta conference attended by Richard. Our uh, Marshall Plan. Is not the correct answer. Pete, you have control of the game and your time continues now. That conference attended by Churchill, Stalin and Roosevelt. My purpose is to maintain international peace and security. Pete. NATO. NATO is not the correct answer. Richard, you have control of the game and your time continues now. Developing friendly relations among nations. My administrative department... Richard. The United Nations. The United Nations is the correct answer. In the two zone which means that the sides are level. But, of course, Pete, you got into this round first, so now with the sides level, the first decision to play our pass is going to be you. The subject is countries. There's a clue for you watching at home on countries, Pete. You need nine points to win this game, fellas, remember, and go into that final. How are you going to play it? I'm going to play. You're going to play on countries. Your time starts now. I am an island commonwealth of the Caribbean with an area of nearly 9,000 square kilometres. I occupy a central position... <laughs> Pete. Jamaica. Is not the correct answer. Richard, you have control of the game and your time continues now. I occupy a central position among the islands of the West Indies. My capital is San Juan. I am closely associated with the United States and participate in most U.S. Richard. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is the correct answer. 
in the tree zone, which takes you up to eight. That means, Pete, for the first time, I think you are now playing catch up for England. The subject, literature, the clue on the screen for you now. Player pass and literature. Better play. OK, you're going to play. And on that subject, you have control in the big four zone and your time starts now. I was born in Poland in 1857. My family was exiled in 1862 to the logged in northern Russia. After my parents' death, I was sent by my uncle to school at Krakow. Pete. Tolstoy. Is not the correct answer. Richard, you have control of the game and your time continues now. But in 1874, I left for Marseille. I travelled the world with the French and British merchant navies and settled in England. I'm famous as a novelist and short story writer. My work includes the novels Lord Jim and... Pete. Solzhenitsyn. Is not the correct answer. Richard, you have control of the game and time continues now. The novels Lord Jim and Nostromo. Richard. Dostoevsky. Is not the correct answer. That means, Pete, you have control of the game again and time continues now. And the short story, Heart of Darkness. I am Pete. Joseph Conrad. Joseph Conrad is the correct answer. <laughs> well, Joseph Conrad in the one zone, taking you up to six. Again, Scotland by Richard Leslie has got eight points for Scotland. Six for England, Pete, you have. The subject is cinema because you're still playing catch-up. There's a clue for you watching at home. On this subject, will you play or pass? You need nine points to win this game. I'll play. You'll play on cinema. Your time starts now. I was born in Ohio, America in 1901, the only son of an oil field worker. I went from odd jobs to a travelling acting company. Pete. John Wayne. Is not the correct answer. It means, Richard, you have control of the game and time continues now. To a travelling acting company and then to a Broadway lead in 1928. I was under contract to MGM from 1931 to 1954 and was Hollywood's leading. <laughs> Richard. Bing Crosby. Is not the correct answer. It means that, Pete, you have control of the game and time continues now. Was Hollywood's leading male star. I'm known for my roles as a rough, masterful, romantic hero, epitomised by my portrayal of Rhett Butler in... Clark Gable. Clark Gable is the correct answer in the one zone. It means that not only are you today's winner, but you're two to the final later this year. Well done for Scotland. Let me tell you what else happens, Richard. Of course, you have already won a bronze. You have already won a silver. Memento of your achievement on Going for Gold. To that, we add a gold one, which is exclusive to winning semi-finalists on Going for Gold. Hard luck to Pete Bowman from England, but of course, we'll see you and the rest of our contestants tomorrow. Pete, very well played indeed. We hope we'll see you tomorrow again for yet another semi-final all over Europe. They're going for gold. Bye-bye and thank you. Well done, Richard. Well done. It's up there. Tonight, another chance to see this week's TNA Impact Wrestling and Austin Aries has a lot to prove now he's the World Heavyweight Champ. That's later at 10 on the UK home of TNA, Challenge.